Turn up to this one, Worcester Bosch 30 RERP. Customer said they had no hot water, so the first thing I do is fire up the hot water and see what's happening. First thing I've noticed is the pressure's okay, but the boiler sat at 75 degrees in eco, so I'm suspecting a block plate. Running the hot tap, it takes a while for the boiler to actually kick in because the temperature's so high. What this is showing is that the plate heat exchange is blocked and it can't distribute the heat. So in effect, what happens is the boiler just gets up to temperature too quickly and locks out. Hence the customer saying they've got no hot water. So enough looking, let's start doing, let's whip the case off. Flick the power off, I don't want spiky air. Isolate the cold underneath. Open a hot tap to take the pressure off. Gonna pop the hose on to drain it down. Twenty four mil spanner to undo the expansion vessel. Twenty four mil spanner to undo the cold. We're gonna get this horrendous condensed trap out of the way. Flathead screwdriver to pop the pin out. Pinch that clip together and twist. Can be a bit tricky, especially doing it one handed while holding a phone, recording it. Pull that securing pin out a little bit better than I did. Remove the pump manifold. Collect plate heat exchanger from van because you've got it as van stock. Spend 10 seconds looking at the boiler psyching yourself up. Undo the two screws securing the plate to the manifolds. I'm going to take the expansion vessel pipe out of the way. I'm going to twist the return pipe out of the way. Lift the right hand side of the plate up and you can maneuver it out. With that out of the way, I'm going to take the plate heat exchanger washers off from the back using a screwdriver and then put it all back in in reverse. I always like to fill the plates up with water and just see what kind of blockage is in it. I mean, the colour of the water is an indicator, but sometimes you really got to wiggle it to get all the bits out. They've changed these from 16 plate to 14 plate, so it doesn't take as much to block up on these. You'd probably look at all that debris and think it's not a big deal, but it was obviously enough to make the boiler overheat. Couple of big bits there as well. Yeah, I mean, look at the state of that. Right, enough of that. With the boiler all back together, I'm going to turn the power back on. Get this hot water fired up and check it. That's not rising as rapidly now. The cold water flowing through the plate is able to cool it down. That's another one done, close the door on it, happy days.